Sometimes you feel like drawing, but you just don't know what to draw. And staring at a blank page really doesn't help much either. So in this video, I'll share some of my favorite things to draw when I'm bored. I normally like to start off by drawing some simple patterns because drawing patterns is a great way to get your creative juices flowing. So you can play around with some simple lines and circles and basic shapes and really see what kind of unique patterns you can come up with by yourself. I started by drawing several teardrop shapes and filling them up with some really simple patterns, but you can really make the patterns as complex or as simple as you want them to be. And of course you don't have to stick with these teardrop shapes either. I also drew some circles and squares and ovals, etc. and I filled them up with different patterns as well. You just want to make sure that whatever shape you want to fill with the pattern is actually large enough because you want to make sure that there's enough space for the pattern to repeat itself several times. So normally the more complex the pattern, the bigger the shape should be. Next up are some super simple landscapes. These are also very easy and fun to draw, but they are a little bit more difficult to design from scratch by yourself. So I normally like to look for some nice designs online and then replicate them. The best place to get started is with some mountain landscapes because they are super easy to draw. Basically, if you can draw a triangle, you can draw a mountain as well. So as you can see, the first four drawings all feature these mountains. And it's also very easy to add new elements to these mountain landscapes. So for example, for the second drawing, I combined the mountain with the sun. And then for the third drawing, I added a tree in front of the mountains. So you can really add your own unique spin to these kind of landscape drawings. Besides mountains, a lot of these simple landscape drawings also feature the sun especially the sunset and the sunrise. So I also wanted to draw a few of those as well. So for the first two, I tried to draw a sunset or sunrise above the ocean. So in the top half, you can see the sun itself. And then in the bottom half, you can see the reflection of the sun in the water. And then for the third one, I decided to draw the sun rising up from behind the mountains in the morning. And then finally, I drew some simple trees just by using some straight lines as well. Flower and plants are always super popular subjects to draw. So I started by drawing a few floral branches. Simply start by drawing the branch and then decorate it with leaves of various shapes and sizes. You can look at some reference photos if you want to, but for these doodles I just came up with some random shapes that I liked on the fly. And I think they came out pretty nice. I also drew a few potter plants and cacti. And with these drawings it's always fun to not only draw different kinds of plants, but also be creative with the flower pots themselves. So try to match the design of the flower pot with the plant itself. Animals can be super intimidating to draw for most people because it's so difficult to draw a realistic looking animal. So I just wanted to share a few quick and easy animal doodles that basically anyone can draw. As with any doodle, it's really important to keep things as simple as possible. So don't worry about the fur or drawing the scales or the feathers. Just try to draw the most important parts that clearly identify the animal you want to draw. So for the snail, it's the shell. For the jellyfish, it's the tentacle and for the hedgehog is the spines, etc, etc. I only recently started practicing these one-line drawings and continuous line drawings, and I have to say, I really like drawing them. You basically have to capture the essence of an object with a single line that's as short as possible. Which sounds super easy, but once you try it, you'll quickly realize that it can sometimes be extremely difficult to draw something with just a single line. But that being said, I don't think you need to be an amazing artist to draw these. You just need to try a lot of times. In this video, of course, I'm only showing you the successful drawings that I made, but each of these drawings took me several times before I got something that I was happy with. You'll need to go through the trial and error process several times to find a design that really works, and then you need to practice that design several times so you can draw it with confidence, and you don't need to stop halfway through or have very shaky lines. If you don't know what to draw, you can always draw some food related items as well. So you can draw something that you had for breakfast or for lunch, or you could draw your favorite foods, etc, etc. I had some bread and fruit for lunch, so I started by drawing different types of bread and fruit and vegetables. So I drew a loaf of bread, a baguette, a croissant, a pear, a strawberry, etc, etc. You can really draw whatever you want, but in general, it's easier to draw the individual ingredients than the final dish. So instead of drawing a board of spaghetti, you could just simply draw the tomatoes and the onions that go into the pasta sauce instead. Try some of these doodles by yourself and let me know the results in the comment section below. Bye bye!